but these fees are not going to allow us to do this again. We will not be able to participate in the farmer's market with a fee like this. PPS have shown that 60% of market shoppers also visit the nearby stores after they've been to the market. Can, can you tell me where your business is located? Your address? 3307 Montgomery Road, Okay, you do know that's not in the city of Loveland. I know I'm very popular, but I want to be very clear that you stated that your business was located in the city of Loveland. It is not. Regardless if you're in, located in Loveland or not, I'd like to say ditto to what you said. There's a lot of great uh, information there. So thank you. Uh, one of the owners of Paxson's Grill, and, and I'd just like to say that, you know, 17 years ago when we came down and kind of planted our flag down there, uh, it was beyond our wildest dreams to ever think that downtown Loveland would turn into what it is today. And that's been the result of a lot of great effort um, by the Loveland community, a lot of great people who have volunteered their time, a lot of uh, other business owners who've committed with not only their money, but their sweat and tears and uh, taken huge risk to build into this community. And we've created something that's uh, beyond my wildest dreams uh, from when we came down here and, and started this journey a long time ago. But, but I do have to scratch my head when, when I uh, uh, read about this, this new permitting and, and, and fees that are being imposed upon the events that have been so important to help create the uniqueness of Loveland and the draw of Loveland. Nobody puts money in their pocket from that. All these events are community-based to uh, support local charities, um, and, and really for the for the, the good of the community. And I don't think anybody has an issue with the city recuperating costs uh, for these events. Whatever these true costs are to have civil servants uh, um, taken care of, there, no one would have an argument with that. But some of these fees regarding uh, costing money to sit down to, to, with with council or the the, the uh, people who would be involved. Um, I, I find that kind of challenging in that because right now these salaries are being paid regardless if you're sitting at a meeting or not. And so why should there be additional fees imposed upon people who want to have uh, events down here? Um, why, why, why should there be additional, it's again another form of taxation that's, that's already being taxed on. I would leave it that, you know, there's the pendulum swings, right? And the pendulum for Loveland has been swinging up for a long time, and it can continue to swing in that direction. Um, but history tells us that sometimes, due to you know the feelings of privilege and/or um, arrogance amongst community leaders, bad decisions are made, um, and that pendulum can swing back just as fast as it swung in the positive direction. So. And these fees that you are proposing are unfounded. No other community around Loveland has these fees. And the only thing that we need to do is take these fees off the board and relook at this, repeal and replace. It is not a community uh, favorable ordinance that you passed here. It's not. Nobody else has it. It's not needed. Nobody wants it. And nobody comes back to Loveland with an empty heart and an empty hold, hole. And the special events is what makes this downtown great and the people who put them on. My charitable work goes back to when we had a viable Kiwanis Club in Loveland and we worked on all sorts of things. And we did not have to face this, I can only describe it as a morass or swamp of bureaucracy that you guys are planning to, to enforce. I, I would be very sad to see the amazing race leave Loveland again. It's somewhat ironical when our new president is cutting down on bureaucracy and regulation. <coughs>
we are imposing something like this on the citizens of Lebanon. And one of the things that really attracted me to this uh, attracted me to this community was the events. I mean, what a great thing! It really adds to the uh, uh, the vibrant lifestyle of the community. First of all, I understand you know that you guys made an amendment. Why in the world would you ever want to open up that can of worms? I mean, it would be fundamentally unfair to choose some people are going to pay this fee and some people are going to pay a different fee. I don't even know why you guys would want to deal with that, let alone how people are going to feel. They're going to feel picked on. They're going to feel like there were personal vendettas involved in that. That, to me, is a can of worms that I can't imagine anybody in office would want to deal with. As most people know, if you have high taxes, chances are you're probably not going to attract a whole lot of businesses. And uh, basically, these fees are just a form of taxation. That's what they are. And, and what's going to happen is what you're going to see is these events are just going to move to other communities. And what a shame for Loveland. I mean, it's not like these, these events are probably going to go away. They're just going to go elsewhere. And why would you want to do that to the citizens that live here? It just doesn't make any sense to me. It's short-sighted. Do I say they don't have the best interests of our citizens in the preservation of the community? Because that's how it feels to me. We want to keep our farmer's market, we want to keep our food truck rally, the amazing race, the homecoming parade, and all the other community events where we can all pull together and we go, we see our neighbors, people we don't see more than maybe three or four times a year. We feel like we're together. We're in love land. Terra di amore. No, that isn't even a joke in Italian. That's what really ticks me off. These events are the times we come together and participate with a sense of unity. And I'm asking you why, because it appears that you're intentionally destroying the, char the character of Loveland. I'm here because I'm seeing a repeat of something I saw when we first moved here in 1995 in Loveland. A decision by some elected officials that seem to think that they know more what's best for us in spite of our opinions. We know the city council secretly trademarked Christmas and Loveland. This seems like a very underhanded and unethical move. How much did that cost the city? Finally, my concern that this is only the tip of the iceberg if we keep going on where some of councils thinks they can go with their power. I ask that you look carefully at the folks sitting in front of you here on council. Pay very careful attention to what they say and do and replace all that do not listen to what they think is right for this great small town. Remember, they work for us. We do not work for them. That's right. Thank you. Yeah.